are back at last after five fallow months, welcoming you once more onto the breach, dear friends, for the best in video game entertainment. So for tonight's first challenge, let's renew our acquaintance with the great man himself, the Games Master. Greetings. How nice of you to join me once again. For this week's first challenge, I thought I'd test your nerve on Marble Madness. The object of the game is simply to guide a marble through a series of mazes. So get rolling and don't lose your marbles. And attempting to control his balls on this challenge is Mark Hawkfield. <laughs> to Games Master 2, The Second Coming. Each week we'll be ferrying challengers and other minions out here to a converted all rig stroke holiday camp combination. Here they'll face rough seas, howling winds, and the verbose vernacular of The Games Master. Greetings, and I'd like to take this opportunity formally to welcome you to The Games Wing. <laughs> As you can see, I've undergone something of um, a facelift since our last encounter. Please bear with me, if to begin with, I seem a little um, disconcerted by some aspects of my new environment. Good Lord. I must say, for my part, I'm thrilled to be back so that we can resume our little communions. Nothing beats a good grapple, so for my first challenge, I've opted for the unorthodox pugilism of Street Fighter II. The object of the game is to inflict terminal damage on your opponent in a best of three fight contest. The um, dirtiest tactics tend to pay the greatest dividends, so lots of unseemly conduct, please. Seconds out. Well, we scoured the arcades trying to find the best two fighters on Street Fighter II. So please welcome Henry Coleman Jr. and Peter Deitch. Welcome, Henry. Welcome, Peter. Right, now, I'll turn to you first of all. Henry, I know you two have had a couple of practices together. Who's been coming out on top? Well, it's all that evenly matched, really. You can't really tell what okay. the going to be. Right, so what character are you playing tonight? I'll be choosing E Honda. Eddie Honda, yeah. and why is that? Because of his um, country hand slaps, sweeps, and um, close range to bear hugs, so I can drain his energy down. Okay Please. then, right. Peter, who are you playing to counter Eddie Honda? I'm going to be Ken today. Okay, what are we going to see from Ken see then? Dragon punches, um, sweeps, all types of moves, slams, everything. If you'd like to take your places, we'll get ready to play. <laughs> And helping me out in the commentary box is a street fighting expert, Nintendo Hotline Zone, Keith Pullen. Now, welcome, Keith. Thanks a lot, Dominic. Good oh, to be here. God, thank you very much. Now, Keith, we've got Eddie Honda against Ken. What are some of the special moves for people who perhaps don't know the game at home? Okay, E Honda has a hundred hand slap, right. um, which is a series of very fast punches um, coming in a very few, short amount of time. And what, what about Ken? What's he Ken, got? Ken, um, he has a uh, very um, aggressive low kicks. Okay, we'll look out for those. Are our two competitors ready? Yep. Then off you go. So we have Henry Coleman Jr. Oh. as Eddie Honda, the fat sumo looking bro on the left. Peter oh, Deitch as Ken. Straight away, that was the hurricane there. kick you were talking about. At the top of the screen oh, we can see two Honda. energy bars. Another hurricane kick. When they reach the bottom, it's all oh, over. That's a hundred hand step there, he's in the corner. Oh, and he's he comes out with right to Minimum energy, one he's more kick. Down. Ken's down, Ken's lost the first bout. So Henry 
Coleman Jr. is one up. This is a best of three challenge. So Peter Deitch must win this one to carry on. Oh, he oh dragon punch dragon there, but he missed. There, but, but he was hitting empty air. Oh, lovely leg like, flying punch there. And he's got another one. In the corner stand there. We can see Eddie Honda's energy in the top left hand corner. It's going down a bit. Oh, that's good. I know Eddie's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Oh, that's good flying punch there. Sumo's not a recognised sport. I went for a special move, didn't he? Oh, he's got Eddie Honda's Honda down. Is down on energy. He needs he's to do not letting him out this corner. Oh, oh he's yes. Down. Slipped over him. Reverse punch, which means that Ken has levelled it one all. Okay then, let your final bout commence now. Okay, we see Sumo Fat Pro on the left. Dragon punch straight, straight away. Dragon punch from Ken straight off. Okay, E Honda's kicking the air there. I think he's got the advantage of speed here, Ken. He certainly has. He's oh, very agile. That's a special move. That's a fireball. He managed to block it a little bit, but it's another one. A bit of energy. Okay. Another one. 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 Another one.
And finally, it's disappearing sonics and tubes ahoy in the polluted play area of the chemical plant zone. This game is unfeasibly fast and looks set to slip into the slots of Sega owners everywhere. A somewhat mixed bag there, but never mind, tonight's celebrity has flown out to the resort, so let's go over to Games Master to see what task he'll be facing. Hello again. It's time to don our raincoats with some gun huge apron on who shot Johnny Rock. Tonight's challenger, turned detective, has three lives. We wish to survive shootouts in the pool hall and the casino in his attempt to foil the mafia hoodlums responsible for the death of Johnny Rock. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. And indulging in some sharpshooting skills tonight, we are very lucky to have one of the funniest men on television. Star of the music quiz, whose line is it anyway? S&M and That's Love. Please welcome Tony Slattery. <laughs> Now, Tony, do you actually play video games? No, I absolutely hate them. <laughs> okay, well, all the more gentlemanly of you to come on. Now, this isn't so much a video game, Tony. This is more a way of life, this game. So we'd like you to play it in the style of a prohibition private eye. Can you handle that? Of course I can. Yes, that goes without saying. Are you going to a wedding, by the way? Um, um, perhaps afterwards. Who knows, Tony? Maybe you and I. We don't know. If you play your cards right. Okay, well, if you want to see if Tony plays his cards right on this game tonight, then join us after the break. Welcome back. We have Tony Slattery here tonight, and he's about to try his trigger finger out on the arcade game Johnny Rock. Now, with me also is Tim Boone, the main man from CVG Magazine. Welcome, Tim. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, any tips for Tony on this game? He says he doesn't like video games, so well, what advice can you give him? He's definitely going to like this one. Basically, he's looking for two clues, one from the pool hall, one from the casino. This is basically uh, Gangster Central. And what he has to do is look for these two clues by shooting everything bad and not shooting everybody good. Okay. What, it, what he's going to need for this is he's going to need uh, quick wits, mm -hmm. nerves of steel. He's going to need quite a bit of luck, and he needs to be good with the ladies. So I think he's the right man for the job. Okay, then. Tony, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> okay, then. Can you take your pistol out of your holster and begin the game? You fast piece. All right, I will. <laughs> I walked into a room of sharks. Say, but this is a private club. I told him I was looking for mumps. Yeah, well, I ain't looking for you. I'll store you in my cheeks to win. <laughs> Take care of him, boys. Okay. Keep your eyes open all times. And there he's a oh, man to the left, and he's got him now. Keep your eyes open. Don't let your guard down at all. Wow, oh, she's got a shot. Has it gone? She's, she's got him. Oh, that's the she's first got of Tony's three lives gone. He's got two more lives left. He's that on the slab. Surgeon me. claims another victim. They're going to shoot me now. Shoot. There's the guy on the left again. Oh, okay. We're not going to get this one. Uh, Watch. The woman again. She has, yes, she says she had the gun. He got her that nice time. Nice one, Tony. And the guy at the back of the bar. At the back, he's got him. Oh dear, oh, no, he dear didn't. the surgeon. Off a volley. Okay. Okay, watch out, guy at the front. Oh, he's got him. Yeah. And here comes the woman. He's got the woman. She's gone. Watch the back, guy at the back. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's got him. Rapid fire. There. There. And here we go. The guy at the go back down, corner back again. And he's got him in slow oh, motion. Yes. Now this watch is... the pram. Watch the pram because oh. it's the killer dwarf. Oh. <laughs> Killer dwarf from the pits of Nazi hell. <laughs> Tony dispatched him with relative ease there. And he's now onto the casino. Some very bad people in here. I showed him my 38. Okay, glad that you will never leave this place the way you came in. There she was in the purple cape. Locked you Lil. She was the tight-lipped dame that I'd needed to talk to. This is very, very dangerous place. Oh, oh, oh he's got down on the table. Now he's got to watch here. Here comes the, the back, the yeah. Yep, he's got him. It's one down. Oh, no, oh, no it shoot him. Shoot he's him. got him. He's doing very well here, yeah, Tim. he's doing very well. Shoot him. Oh, he's got him on the corner. That's the one. And he's shoot him. Oh, yes, he's yes. got him. He's, he's only got a couple more. Oh, 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 Bad 
bad luck, Tony, but I mean, you were going so well, you only had not about one or two more people to bump off, but you bumped off the wrong person. I know. Well, I think success isn't everything. It was all these women in low-cut dresses <laughs> appearing from nowhere. I mean, how am I meant to concentrate? <laughs> I completely understand. Now, unfortunately, Tony, you haven't won our special Golden Games Master joystick, but if I can patronise you for a second more and ask you, <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself anyway? I think the game is absolutely brilliant, and I'm not an aficionado, but I could well become addicted to that. Okay, that's all about you've been a brilliant sport tonight. Round of applause, please, for tonight's special guest. Tony Slattery! Now, sometimes finger-pumping joystick power is not enough, and you need some help from an expert. Well, they don't come more intergalactic than ours, so let's take a trip to Games Master's Consultation Zone. Master. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I help you? I can't find the Blue Switch Palace in Super Mario World. Can you tell me where it is? Ah, that old chestnut. The Blue Switch Palace can only be reached from Forest of Illusion 2. There's a deceptively placed illusion wall toward the end of the level. Simply walk straight through it. Thank you very much. That's quite all right. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and just what is your particular problem? Can you please tell me how I can beat my friends at Game Boy Tennis? Practice the game, young man. Failing that, you can always cheat. When it's your service game, throw the ball high, but instead of striking it truly, step beneath it. If the ball lands on your head, you'll have won the point without raising a sweat. <laughs> Not terribly sporting, but hugely effective, I can assure you. Thanks, that's great. I know. Who's last for the evening? Hi, Games Master. Could you tell me if there are any special bonus areas on Zool? Ah, oh, I'm rather pleased you asked this one. For Zool actually includes a special Games Master secret room, full of goodies for your consumption. The room is located on the third level of the street world. Simply walk straight into the first right-hand wall you come across, then you will meet the rewards. Thanks a lot. That's all for tonight's symposium. See you along. Some golden bonding moments there, but time is drawing on and we must slot in our final challenge. So it's back to Games Master. Finally, for the night, I've opted for an arcade game, which I hope will tickle your fancy. It's called Dragon's Lair 2. And I'd like you to complete the first level of the game and reach the time machine without losing a life. Do watch out for the mother-in-law, an overweight old Hannibal who would like nothing more than to spot you with her rolling pin. I guarantee the act will be fast and furious, so brace yourselves for a picaresque adventure. And taking a magical skip down Fantasy Lane on this challenge is one of the best arcade players we've ever seen. So please welcome from Portsmouth, Dougie Johns. <laughs> Now, Dougie, we've seen you in action. We know you're one of the best players around, but this game is very tough. Can you do it? Well, yeah, I think with my superbly home, home games playing skills, I should be able to walk it. OK, we've got a very plucky competitor there. If you'd like to step up to the game, Doug, we'll get ready to play. And back for yet more punishment at my side is Tim Boone from CVG. Welcome back, Tim. Welcome. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, we know this guy's a good player, but this is one of the most difficult arcade games, isn't it? I would actually say this is probably the most difficult arcade game I've ever seen. OK, so what Dougie has to do is escape from the treasure room while evading Daphne's mother-in-law. He only has one life to do it, so it's going to be very, very tough. Are you ready, Doug? Yep. Then off you go. Okay, so off goes Doug. He's approaching the castle. He's got to look out oh, for the flashes. Watch out for mother-in-law. Here she comes. Oh, 
Oh, she's a big girl, Tim. Out the door as fast as you can, because you don't want to mess with her. She's and now watch your happy. horse, and away you go. I like I would if she was following me. <laughs> now then, keep, keep her off your back as long as you can, and down off your horse, into the castle, I would, and she's trapped. I would wonder all my back get it, baby. Snake, watch the snake again. I must go down the chasm, but yeah, avoid the spider. spider. He's got the spider. Now, the snake. And oh, no, it's going to be cool. Yes, it's been. Here comes mother-in-law. Oh, my God, she's trouble. Just, she's not oh, giving up. She's massive. Down, no. down the road, but now the door again. Watch it. Avoid the crack. She's too fat. Jump through there. Through the door. Uh, onto that thing. Jump again down the hole. Oh, no, it's going to make it. Down the hole. Slip down the hole. Lovely. Yeah, excellent. Watch the snake. Oh, no, it's going to make it. Oh, it's going to hold you. Away. Watch the snake again. Get down the snake. Put it again. More than the snake. Oh, no, the snake's oh, gone by the top. It's the red cage. Away. Oh, yeah. Now, grab the key. Grab the snake first. Now grab the key. Oh, he's doing very well so far. Brilliant game. He's doing fantastic. snake and his challenge has ended in failure. Round of applause for Doug, everyone. <laughs> now, thank you. Now, Douglas, what happened? We knew, we, we've seen you before, you're a brilliant player, but it's a very tough game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. The Don Blues games are, you have to be right on there, split second decisions, and Pressure was on and just missed one move. Okay, well, you've given me personally a lot of pleasure today, Doug. So let's have a round of applause for our gallant challenger, Doug Jones. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Well, that's it for this week. Join us in seven days when we'll have Frank Bruno taking on arcade champion Paul Turner at Sonic Blastman. Well, that just whips up my appetite for the can't fish and almond bake that's on the menu tonight. So we're off to have a little bit of that, and we'll see you next week. Good night.